There are over 30 trillion cells in the human body, making up all of our muscles, organs, bones, basically everything. Every individual cell contains DNA, located in the nucleus and coding for specific traits. I have hair, eyes and skin, just like you do. But take a minute to think about just how many different varieties there are of these specific traits. Skin colour, for example, is a polygenic trait. A combination of genes work together to create a specific skin colour. Melanin is a pigment produced by skin cells that determines human skin, hair and eye colour. More melanin is produced when exposed to more sunlight. It is then stored until needed for photoprotection, in which melanin absorbs photons from the sun to protect against DNA damage. There are two types of melanin, eumelanin and pheomelanin. With exposure to UV rays, eumelanin results in darker skin colour, while pheomelanin results in red skin colour. Darkly pigmented skin has extra photoprotection, reducing the likelihood of skin-related diseases. The levels of melanin in a person's skin are determined by genetics, the inheritance of traits from parents to offspring. Dark skin started evolving about 1.2 million years ago. More efficient perspiration was needed for bodies to undergo evaporative cooling. As body hair was lost, skin darkened due to high exposure to the sun's UV rays. As a result of natural selection, modern Homo sapiens by this time had evolved and consisted of all dark-skinned humans. Humans migrated to regions with new and cooler climates, leading to the evolution of light-skinned people, probably as a result of less melanin being needed for photoprotection. This has led scientists to argue over the concept of black and white as the discrete groups of society for years now. They argue that it very clearly ignores the genetic diversity of the human race. It's crazy to think such a small genetic difference is enough to keep racism alive over the centuries. The word race is man-made, a social concept, a habit. It is not a scientific word and has no scientific explanation to describe its necessity to bodily and even worldly scientific processes. The American Society of Human Genetics clearly states that the science of genetics demonstrates that humans cannot be divided into biologically distinct subcategories. The number of genes in our bodies is immense, causing no two people's DNA to be identical. The genes that determine skin pigmentation are few of many genes in a person's gene pool, and they result in a clearly expressed phenotype, just like hair, eyes and height. But there is no distinctive category dividing people of these similar polygenic traits into social groups. Why then do we choose to categorise supposed blacks and whites? We as humans all originate from the same common ancestors, no matter what language we speak, what culture we have, and what skin pigmentation we express, we all came from one. Therefore, we are one, and always will be one.